Sorry about my hair. It was raining today and um, it kind of makes my hair poof up like that. So, um, anyways, tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.30, I turn 18. And that's, it's weird because it's one of those things where you're like, oh, at one point I'm going to be an adult. And when it happens, it's kind of like, this is kind of weird. I don't like to have the traditional kind of definition of being an adult compared to what other people think. My definition of an adult is when you have to do things that you don't necessarily fully want to do. Um, such as paying bills or having obligations. And under that definition, sorry, that's kind of uh, my server over there which I'm still setting up. I got the case finally. It came right here. So I'm going to be working on that. Um, but anyways, I don't, I don't like to think of that in a traditional definition. And I hope you guys don't either, because it's one of those things that shouldn't be seen as so cut and dry, uh, where everyone becomes an, an adult at 18 years of age. Exactly. Boom. Set. You're an adult. I don't think that's a good way to think about it. It's, it's kind of this weird stark realization that I'm going to be legally an adult, but I've kind of been there already. It's like a jet engine is taking off in my garage. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. I need, I need to like tame those fans because they're absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so I'm just about to put the server in this bad boy right here. Um, the one that I tried previously that did not fit the motherboard. That was the um, uh, the Silverstone Grandia 08, I believe. This one's the 07, so it's meant for these larger um, these larger cases. So it'll work. I've already measured it, so we're we're done with that. It, it's good, and the server just shut off, so that's why it doesn't sound so much noise anymore. Um, but I also want to kind of show you this area right here that I set up. It's really nice. I put a whole bunch of my VidCon stuff right here. So that was one of the stickers that came in my VidCon bag. That's the Vimeo thing. They didn't come with a YouTube one. Out of all the things, you'd think they'd have a YouTube sticker, but they didn't. Um, that's a source-fed poster right here. Let me focus on that. That's a source-fed little note card thing, which I really like. It's cool. I watch source-fed, and they're, they're the best. Um, and I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a live streaming feature. Uh, you now is definitely a live streaming feature. And then they have a nice, nice little Mad Libs there that I haven't done anything with. But I'm leaving it there so I remember to do something with it. Especially when I go to VidCon this year, which I am super pumped about. I am going to VidCon again this year. And um, not as many of my friends are going. But um, Austin, I believe, is going. It's still... He's still kind of the only person that's like if iffy. And then a lot of my other friends, um, like people I know just from other people like um, Savannah and a whole bunch of other people. So it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna see a lot of people. I'm, I wanna meet more people this year. I wanna meet more people. Um, that's something I didn't do a lot of last year. So yeah, anyways. Anyways, uh, so lenses, uh, that's a polarizer, audio recorder, lots of cables, so many cables. Uh, I'm debating not having them on the first shelf. But pretty much everything here is stuff that I use the most, so it's like easy to just grab. And then, that's my uh, camera lanyard. It's the VidCon like badge holder thing. My actual VidCon thing is over there. But um, that's the lanyard. And this is my, my key to my bike, which I use on a daily basis. So, and then down here. We have the NTG2 shotgun mic, which I use quite a lot, but not quite as often as my audio recorder up there. Uh, my camera bag, some more cables, stuff like that. And down here is just all the all the tripods, monopods, whatever. And then what I'm holding the camera on right now, that is the um, Gorilla Pod, which goes on the first shelf because it's so useful. But all that aside, it's time to put this bad boy to use. I'm excited. We're finally going to be done. Well, not done because um, I still have to put in the graphics card, which I found out you needed a PCI X64. It's PCI X64 bit. That's the PCI lane. 
that's on the board. Um, so I need a PCI X64 to PCIe riser, which I bought on eBay. <laughs> on eBay, it said it would be delivered on the 13th. It is currently the 19th. It's m pretty much more than a week late, and the shipping information hasn't been updated in 11 days. It still thinks it's in New York. I'm about to just call them and say, this is unacceptable. Give me my stuff, please. <laughs> um, I didn't pay anything extra for shipping, but I feel like this is kind of ridiculous. This is kind of ridiculous. I'm sitting here, and I've gotten two cases in the time that it's taken eBay to get me, like, one small little thing that's about this big. <sighs> I really wish I had bought it off of, off of Amazon, but um, we're left with this thing. I'm going to go put it in right now. Because I'm ready to be done with this portion. The graphics card is relatively easy to just pop in um, once the riser comes. Although I may have to do some modding to the actual graphics card. I may have to dremel off part of the I.O. board to make it fit. But what's a PC ghetto build without a little modding involved? So I'm excited. Let's go put the case in. Alright, there she is in all of her glory. I've gutted her completely um, because I there's normally um, a hard drive rack right there, uh, so you know, typical format. Well, <laughs> non-typical format, but I would assume that's where the hard drives go and that's where they are. So that rack is right down there. It's got nice little handles and stuff, and it's really nice. Uh, the bad part is I can't use it because my motherboard literally takes up from right here to like right here, and the rack is about from here to right here. So. Can't use it, but um, this case finally fits. It comes with three fans. There's uh, one. Uh, these are three 120 millimeter fans. There's one right here, and then I've taken these two out because they were right here. Yet again, cannot fit them right here, so had to take them out. I'm thinking about taking this one out just so I can kind of lay everything out, figure out how I want to have the um, whole system push pull. Um, I haven't really done a lot of airflow kind of stuff, so <sighs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll give it my best go. It's probably not going to be the most optimal cooling setup, so if you guys are experts, make sure to comment um, on how I have the fan set up when I'm finally done with this thing, because I'm not an expert on kind of like negative, positive airflow, what you should go for, what you're looking for. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, the difference will probably be about 2, 3, 4, maybe 5 degrees Celsius, which isn't too much of a big deal, because these things run pretty cool. I think the max I ever saw them go up to was like, 55 degrees Celsius, and that was rendering video with 100% utilization on all 16 threads, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, start putting stuff in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a case. Finally. You do not believe how relieved I am to finally have this thing in a case. It is just amazing. Thank, thank goodness. I was hoping the standoffs would be in the right place, and not all of them are. Like, you can see that one right there. That one right there isn't. But all seven of the others, I believe, except for this one, right there are so seven are in the four corners are in which is the most important part and then we got one right here and i believe one right there so four corners plus two that is more than enough for me um the only other downfall is that it didn't come with an io port i'm going to probably do something custom for that and uh since my graphics card is going to have to go horizontal i might have to uh, mod either the case or the graphics card but I think it's time to put in a power supply, boyos. Let's do it.
we have a little problem. I don't know how to fit this thing in there. The, you know, cable management's going good. I'm just clueless about how I'm going to get this thing in there. Uh, because the hard drive bay, I would assume there would have been some stuff on the wall for me to, like, get on it. I might have to drill my own holes. Um, which sounds worse than it actually is. But we got four mount holes right there. I could just, uh, drill, uh, I'm thinking, like, right here, because there's nothing else going on right there. Um, it's eventually going to sit on this side so that I can have air through through these things. Um, so air can come up through there and out there because uh, this fence covered by the PSU. So I'm prob the best option is probably have it right here and the air that comes up right there will just graze over the hard drive cooling it. So I'm going to give it a go. And we'll wait for the post screen. This one's taking out. This one's pulling out. Oh, uh, post, yeah. <laughs> 